the man, the myth, the meme, Gucci. He had it all. Money. Power. All right, bro. Whoever is whoever is asking for an unban is automatically gonna get banned, bro. Get banned, bro. Popularity. Who is calling me right now? Women. <laughs> yeah, man, what are you looking at, bro? I'm not doing nothing over here. There's just one thing he was missing. The plays. My fucking killing spree. Can't believe I just fucking missed. But Gucci kept on grinding. And grinding. And grinding. And grinding. He never got any better, but man did he grind. Despite the cards being stacked against him, this one man rose from nothing to everything then back to nothing in a matter of years. This is his story. This is Dreams, the Gucci documentary. Gucci's exact date and place of birth has been the subject of much debate among scholars. Some say his essence is eternal, and that he was never birthed, rather created towards the beginning of time. Others say he was born in the distant future, a future in which time travel exists and he came back in time to school smite players in the years 2017 to now. Others say he was born during the Bronze Age, which would correlate to his plays being so unbelievably bronzed here. Others say, and this is the vast minority, that he was born in the early to mid 90s in the Bronx. There have been many reincarnations and versions of the modern day being which we call Gucci. For the sake of precision, we'll use the origin story taught in college level textbooks. Gucci 007X, born Gucci Hemoth, the destroyer of all things evil, was born circa 4 BC in the town of Judea, located in the Roman Empire. Growing up, he was a simple, tolerant man who cultivated a refined sense of purpose and love in others. He traveled across many a land teaching the ways of acceptance and intimacy to all those who would listen. He earned the name Gucci of Nazareth for this, however, his beliefs were rejected by the establishment and historians say he was crucified for his supposed transgressions. Not much is known about the following 2000 years of Gucci. It is believed by followers of Gucciianity that the crucifixion left the spirit of Gucci extremely upset and changed his entire demeanor. The old loving Gucci of Nazareth became the vengeful and fiery Gucci 007X. Historians cite several prominent figures with Gucci-esque qualities as what they believe to be reincarnations of the Prophet himself. However, there has only been one reincarnation of Gucci that has been 100% confirmed by expert eugenicists and anthropologists. I just missed my ult. Gucci made his Twitch account in December of 2015 but didn't start streaming until late 2016. His stream took off for a number of reasons. For one, he plays on approximately 3 sensitivity, a number that has been looked into and confirmed by physicists.
Secondly, his game knowledge is seriously deficient, causing him to fuck up plays on many different occasions. Dude, I could not see the lines for shit. I could not see the lines for shit. Dude, I could not see the lines for shit. Thirdly, despite his lack of skill and game knowledge, he's hell-bent on becoming a pro. How I guess so many viewers just fucking... I stream every day for like fucking... Like all fucking day, dude. I mean, you also kind of got to be good too. Nobody really want to watch. Nobody really wants to watch somebody that's that's bad either, you know. So you gotta know what you're doing. You know, you gotta fucking. You know, when Transonics was defeated by yours truly, me, in the jungle. Now, when you tell me that Xbox people or Xbox fucking pros whatever suck my fucking dick fourth and finally he was extremely toxic to both his teammates and his chat a trait people see called too often in online communities and the other team gets gets to all fucking all the all the american people bro they get all the fucking people that went to school and have a fucking brain and don't fucking sit on a fucking barn all day and fucking like damn bro Oh my god! <sighs> Rotate you stupid piece of fucking garbage shit motherfucking faggot ass pussy. Oh my god. For all of those reasons combined he blew up, gaining meme status within the smite community. However with this, he gained much publicity and a plethora of followers and views on Twitch. He got cockier and cockier thinking his fame was derived from his impeccable plays when really they derived from his mishaps being funny to watch. Gucci began to think he had what it took to make plays. Yeah, you know what I'm gonna do bro? I'm about to solo that Phoenix. up I decided to fucking kill the bitch and kill nothing stopped Gucci however because he had dreams dreams of becoming pro eventually Gucci started titling his streams dreams of becoming a pro saving up for a PC or something along those lines. It became clear that he was looking to take his professional level fuck-ups to the next level and quell the doubts of every non-believer in his chat and on Reddit. All the while his gameplay stayed consistent. <laughs> Bro, I'm muting these people. Like, I can't even fucking focus on the game. I'm fucking muting these people and fucking reporting them, bro. Like that. Really? All this combined with the fact that several people in the community made videos on him. Gucci! Yes. I've heard the stories, but goddamn! <laughs> Step two, bro. Put your sensitivity down to zero, bro. Forced Gucci into the stratosphere of Smite A-listers. He was recognized alongside the likes of DN Brandon. Don't don't get excited about that, because you're an idiot. Incon. Every day I say, today's the day that Smite's gonna be not a shitty game. And then I play Smite and I'm like, I'm just kidding, Smite's a terrible game. Punk Duck. Even Dust. I think of myself as like above the average person, so I don't feel like many people could relate to me. As like bad as that sounds, I know, but like that's just- With Gucci's fame and his PC currency fast approaching, there was nothing he couldn't do. Kali carry baby, Kali carry, Kali carry, Kali carry. The rapper Lil Pump even recorded a song on his behalf. 
Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. When he finally got his PC, he celebrated with a massively hyped up stream. Of course, as he was new to PC and he was still Gucci, many mishaps occurred the day. as well as in the months following. Wow, that was wild. Fuck, I ulted on accident. Fuck, we gonna use it. Get Zeus. Damn it, you ran into that shit. However, as we all know in this life, all good things must come to an end. Gucci was hitting a massive amount of viewers with his PC Smite streams, mostly just because people wanted to clip him getting fragged. However, as most people do, Gucci started to branch out with games he streamed, citing his growing distaste for Smite. Now as one might expect, he was just as bad at the other games as he was at Smite, among which were Fortnite. He thought I left. <coughs> what a loser. Woo, I got the gun. That's some bullshit. What do you mean? Oh my god, dude. Yo, I shot him right in the face. Like, League of Legends. You know, she's about to kill me again? Nah, dude, that's not even fair. What are you doing? Nah, you know what I'm about to do? You know what I'm about to do? Oh, Happy no. feet! Combo you know combo! That ain't Falco! That ain't Falco! Oh, 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 oh. Yo, you, yo, that shit was clean. And defending himself from his own chat. I don't wear the same fucking shit every day, dude. Here, since there's like fucking a hundred something people in here, it's a good time. Ah, you stupid motherfucker. You ever heard of undershirts? Like Fruit of the Loom or Hanes? Or anything? You probably haven't because you probably never leave your fucking house and your mom buys all your clothes. But these are called undershirts. They cost like fucking three dollars for like a five pack of undershirts. I've been wearing undershirts since I was a fucking kid. So, I'm 23 now. So... Then, out of nowhere, Gucci got hit with the ban hammer. Some say it was for sharing pornographic pictures on his stream, others say it was because he lit up on stream, no one truly knows why. He started streaming on YouTube regularly, and he did accumulate a thousand subs on that platform, but it wasn't the same as his Twitch success. Ultimately he did get his Twitch account back, but things quickly spiraled downward from there. He vowed to quit Smite, citing the fact that he was carrying shitty teams to no avail, and just like that we started seeing less and less of Gucci. He streamed Fortnite occasionally, but no one watched the chip. Oh. Though Gucci has been away from Smite for a while, we think we've tracked down just exactly what he's been doing during his time away. Our sources tell us that he has teamed up with Hires to be the next official god added to Smite. We even have a snippet of the god reveal available courtesy of Hires themselves. Welcome to the Smite god reveal for Gucci 007 God of Missing Auto Lock Abilities. You know, cosplay babes, you know what I'm saying, bro? And, uh... Now they're trying to, they're trying to figure out why my arms are so big like, like hunky Lee's. So like you go on you go on X videos or or Pornhub.com you know what I'm saying, and then uh, you could choose a variety of selections, bro. Then you know you just pick it and then you just go at it, bro. Every night before bed, you know what I'm saying, bro. You'll be Jack like me. Aside from that, Gucci has made a new PC Smite account and has started a clan that the general public is free to join. On top of all of that. We reached out to Gucci for a statement and he told us of a new up-and-coming Twitch account people should follow while he takes his break. 
he also plans on releasing combat guides for the following gods, Mercury. All right, you're in. All right, you're in. Al Quang. Oh, I got clapped. Expel. Amaterasu. Sasano. The Gucci out here. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. The Morrigan. Oh my god, I got Geb killed. Geb is dead. I gotta, I gotta assassinate. I gotta finish this off. You're not getting away, Geb. You're not getting away, dude. It's not happening. They're all coming up way, Mike, you know? <laughs> Bekasura. I don't get it. John Kui. Fuck away from me. Oh, oh, I'm too nice with fuck. And Vulcan. Fear not, my friends. The age of Gucci will come again. What the fuck? Hello? Yeah, what the fuck is wrong? What the fuck? What is this?